Welcome everyone. In this tutorial we are going to be creating an accordion in action. Just to show you a real world example of an accordion menu. I have Nike.com site open with an accordion here for the men's products. You will notice that when I click it, it expands and shows sub-menu items with each link attached to that category and similarly a sub-menu item with its associated links and lastly just a link as a footer this is exactly what we are going to be building today if you would like to get a free extra widget kit for accordions head over to humblex.com shop scroll down here there's accordion library kit for action it's available for free you can download four different types of accordion menus and you'll notice here that the downloads are about over a thousand so open up your action program I have RP7 and head over to file new and that will open up an untitled document similar to this one drag in your rectangle and type in men's products we're gonna give this shape dimensions of width 250 and height 50 to give it a bit of padding to the left 20 and align the text left I'm going to make this bold and change that to be font size 16 we will drag this first press alt and drag to duplicate press shift to align go back to Chrome and see, let's see what we are building. Category and featured. Let's change this to category. So like this, Alt, drag, Alt, drag, Alt, drag, just to create the three links within it, which are shoes. See what else? Shoes, clothing, and gear. There we go. Good. Let's just align this to be right up as nice and close, nice and tight. And we're going to change this not to be bold. We're going to add a fill color, which is light. There we go. And we'll make this fill color, let's make it black and the font white. Okay, so far so good. Let's select everything. Let's change the font to Century Gothic. Right, that looks nice. And let's just kill the, the actual line on here, the line color. Gives a bit of a sharpness. So far, so good. Now, let's give this sub menu two states uh, an expandable state and a collapsible state. So, right click and duplicate it to dynamic panel. We're going to name this panel sub menu one. I'm going to duplicate its state. Step in by double clicking to state one. Drag in a label, add a plus, go to state two, double click, drag in a label and add in a minus. If we head back to home, 
you'll notice it's a dynamic panel with two states plus and minus expandable and collapsible next what we want to do is to select these three convert them into a dynamic panel name it links one and we are gonna set this to be hidden now let's give a sub menu some interactions so on click I'm gonna show links and we're actually gonna toggle and push everything below it okay also what we want to do is to add to that case the changing of the panel state of our sub menu to the next state and I should wrap it from last to first so what that implies is that uh, it gives us a, a toggling feature over time so let's preview this just to show you what I mean just renders uh, the HTML file if we click this shoes clothing gear show and the minus state shows if we click that again that's get gets hidden and we change the state of the panel back to a plus so far so good step back to texture select everything and alt duplicate it to create our secondary category what that category is going to have is similar to our online uh, accordion featured so we are going to change this and call it sub menu 2 step into state 1 change it to featured step into state 2 by double clicking and type in featured great and go back to home let's see what that does let's preview that and if you click on category it pushes down featured if you click on featured that shows its links close that still shows expandable featured so that's perfect lastly we're going to create the actual footer clearance so drag in a rectangle type in clearance give it um, bold italic and we're going to change this to century gothic give it a bit of padding 20 and alignment left and that should be 50 and with a width of 250 pixels perfect let's make sure it's aligned great let's preview that and what we have is something like that if we click on that excellent and if we click on this there we go cool let's just give it the same formatting and styling so we'll give it something like that drag down the top level men's products menu and lastly what we're going to do is to change this bottom part into a dynamic panel and we'll call it menu expanded
to change this button into a dynamic panel as well and we'll call it menu we shall duplicate its, um, its state to have two step into state one add in a plus sign make sure your font is white state two drag in the label and font white the minus sign just push the minus a bit to the right and stepping back to the home page select the men's um, then a panel give the interaction on click show menu expanded and just toggle it we won't need to push and pull any widgets press ok select this set it to hidden and then let's preview that when we click on menus products the category is show you click on category it's links show you click on featured it's links show and that's it for today's tutorial thank you so much bye